Good morning, everyone. This is Dan O'Sullivan with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, August the 21st, presented by Mercury. Hey, we're going to connect with Tracy Robinson to talk about Weiss Lake and Neely Henry. We're going to talk to Justin Elliott about Logan Martin and Lay Lake. And of course, we're going to connect with Tom Mott, where he and his lovely lady, St. Jennifer, have just pulled off another win up there at Lake Gunnersville. So we'll be right back and tell you what they have to say. Good morning, everyone. This is Dan O'Sullivan with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, August the 21st, presented by Mercury. We're going to head on up to the big lake up there at Lake Guntersville, that Tennessee River impoundment, where we've got another championship to report. Our good buddy Tom Ott and his lady, Jennifer, have actually pulled off another win in their couples division. Tom, first of all, tell us how you guys pulled that win out. Uh, by the seat of our pants, I think, but uh, <laughs> we, uh, it was, uh, you know, by Gunnersville stand standards, it, it probably wasn't the, the biggest bag on the lake that day, but, uh, you know, we were able to pull out our win, um, uh, and it just, it was incredibly hot last weekend. I don't know. And I think it was humidity. Uh, we were out of water. We were, uh, not, uh, it took most of the morning to get a, get a lemon in the boat, but, you know, once we started, once we got that limit, felt a little bit more comfortable, then we started bouncing around. And, and you know, right now it just seems, guys, that, uh, you know, moving is is really the, the trick to things. I mean, you know, we landed on a spot with 20 minutes to go uh, that was just loaded, and the fish were absolutely just munching. So uh, we, left them, we left them biting. We called three times right at the end of the day. It was just, you know, one of those, you know, excellent days that you have on Guntersville. But... I'm telling you, if you're not if you're not picking up that trolling motor, moving around, looking, using your electronics, you're just not going to find these fish. They're just not in these huge groups that are going to continue to bite. Um, this one, uh, it looked like there was 20, 30 fish in it, uh, and they were just really they were. We just happened to, you know, it was a timing thing. I mean, and that's really what ledge fishing is anyway. Is a timing deal. So, uh, all, my biggest. What I would definitely say is get out there, move around, look, use your electronics. Uh, you'll find them. And uh, when you do, when they stop biting, pick it up and go again. Um, and that's really what we did. We we tried to fish some grass stuff. Uh, it really wasn't panning out. Uh, the fish were a little were too small. Uh, once we got out on some hard bottom stuff, uh, you know, we could pick up a fish here, a fish there, and probably hit 15 spots in the day. Um, and, and finished the day with maybe 20 fish, probably 12 keepers, I think is what we, we counted. But, yeah, it was a fantastic day. And, and you know, it, it's just Gunnersville in the summertime, and that's just what you got to do right now. Yeah, well, it's big worms, football jigs, uh, magnum shaky heads, and even a Nico rig or some of those kinds of things will produce some fish on those spots. And I know the crappie bite can still be good around those bridge pilings. But, Tom, to you and St. Jennifer, as always, congratulations, and we appreciate everything you got that you guys do and share with us. And we will talk to you again next week. Sounds good, Dan. Uh, we'll be out there trying again, and uh, we'll certainly give you another report. Sounds good. Good morning, everyone. This is Dan O'Sullivan with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, August the 21st, presented by Mercury. Hey, Josh Heron's on a break this week, kind of like Rachel and, and Ross on Friends. So we're going to connect with Justin Elliott, our good friend and pro staffer from from the neighborhood. Justin, tell us what's going on down there at Logan Martin and Lay Lake. So on Logan, I've been very successful here the past couple of weeks doing something kind of out of the Alabama norm, something that, you know, not really many people think about when they think of Logan Martin, Coosa River, that type of deal. Um, really downsized. Been throwing a drop shot pretty much all day. I mean, it's hard to it's hard to bring yourself to pull the fairy wand out of the rod box at you know six in the morning. But that's pretty much the only way I've been successful here in the past couple of weeks on Logan. Uh, really focusing on hard bottom. I mean, you know, if you could find metal on the bottom, that's what these fish are going to be relating to right now. Um, biggest rock bars you can find, and it's not giant populations of fish. You've really got to move around a bunch to find a limit of fish but once you find them you'll catch two or three here two or three there and you can put a limit together pretty quick um down on lay you know i'd probably be doing the same type of stuff probably not necessarily throwing a drop shot as much as i am on logan i would probably go to a football jig um or a, a bigger shaky head something like that down on lay uh still focusing on those river channel swings rock bars on the river um any of that kind of stuff you can find that hard bottom that's offshore deeper water try to 
try to find a population of fish here. You're not just hunting and pecking for one fish, two fish here. You're really trying to get into the populations of them, catch more more at a time than what you normally would just flipping a dock. So Justin, what is it you think it is about the drop shot that's presenting to those fish? Why do you think that they're responding to the drop shot? I, I honestly believe that these fish have seen a shaky head until they, they see it in their sleep. They close their eyes at night and they see a shaky head at night. Um, you know, the past five, six, seven, eight years, this river has been pounded by shaky heads and it's something different. It gets that bait up off the bottom. You know, if you've got a little current, you really much um, those fish will just come up, pull it down. You'll feel the bite, one of the best bites you'll ever feel. And then they're there. I mean, there's there's no mistake in a drop shot bite. When the when the weight's sitting still on the bottom and you're just holding pressure on the line, there's, there's no doubt about it when they come up and eat it. Yeah, I know a lot of times people fish a sh uh, drop shot for uh, suspended fish, but they will come up to eat it. Yeah, and if they're seeing a lot of things, that makes a lot of sense. Um, what about any other species? You seen any catfish or crappie being taken on the lake or fishermen that are out there targeting them? Catfishing guys, they were on the main river, you know, focusing on those hard channel swings, stuff like that. Not as in tune with that type of fishing as a lot of people. Um, I just notice them as I run by and kind of put two and two together and know that they're all fishing channel swings on the deeper edge of the river channels. So. Well, there you go, folks. That'll do it for our Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, August the 21st, presented by Mercury. Thanks, Justin. Good morning, everyone. This is Dan O'Sullivan with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, August the 21st, presented by Mercury. Hey, it's time for us to hit the home lakes, Weiss Lake and Neely Henry with our good friend Tracy Robinson. Tracy, why don't we start at Weiss Lake again and tell us what's been going on up there. Weiss Lake's been pretty good this week. Uh, caught a lot of spotted bass up there this week, uh, dragging around a Carolina rig and a football head jig, uh, 12 to 15 foot ledges up there. Um, caught them pretty good two different days up there in the past week. Um, are you looking offshore? Are you looking hard spots? What is the kind of stuff you're looking for? I've caught most of my fish on road beds, which I guess you categorize that in hard spots. Uh, they were up in the water column feeding. They were pretty easy to see on the side scan, too, when I, when I was scanning around. So they weren't real hard to find. Um, I tried throwing a Carolina rig at first, which that's usually what I catch them on, you know, when they're doing that. But uh, I ended up having to slow down and drag around a little bit to get them to eat. But uh, they, they were in that 12 to 15 foot range uh, on hard places. What kind of quality are you seeing out of this schools? Um, Two and a half pounders I would have considered a good one. I caught a couple in that three pound range, but the majority of them were in that pound and a half to two and a half pound range. What about crappie boats? Are you seeing any crappie boats out there while you're fishing? I didn't see a lot of boats this past week. I don't know if it was because of the heat or what, but I didn't see hardly anybody out fishing. The boats uh, on the lake was a uh, very, very uh, low volume. Same on Neely. I, I didn't even feel like I was uh, fishing Neely because it had been so crowded all summer. I guess starting back to school has got a lot of people off the lakes, but uh, it, it was really quiet on Neely as far as boat traffic as well. Okay, so turning our attention to Neely Henry, what are we seeing out of there? What kind of bites are you pulling together? Neely's brutal. <laughs> I mean, brutal tough right now. Uh, three fish limit. Most of the tournaments uh, have gone to three fish limits and shoot six pounds either winning or getting a check right now on Neely. It's really, really tough on Neely. Um, yesterday when I was fishing Neely, I did run into some schooling fish and uh, caught them pretty good there pretty fast. It was spotted bass and one of them did weigh over three pounds. I was up fishing shallow grass, just nasty, you know, trash kind of stuff for, for largemouth and saw a couple of big blow ups and I'd had a little swim bait laying there through that little three and a half inch Kitek out there, caught one first cast, second cast, lost one, and then they were gone. But they were really blowing up pretty good there for a minute. And I think you'll see more and more of that, you know, over the next few weeks as these fish start schooling up a little more. Yeah, and if we get these little storms, uh, you know, yesterday we had the storms overnight and the current ran a little bit, so that doesn't, that makes some sense. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, Tracy, you know, you spend a lot of time on these lakes and we appreciate everything that you, you do and that you share with us. Um, as always, thanks for everything and thanks for being a part of our Bucks Island Area Fishing Report presented by Mercury. Thank you, sir. Well, that'll do it for your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, August the 21st presented by Mercury. Thanks to everybody for sharing your information. Congratulations to Tom and Jennifer for their big win. And of course, folks, we're here for you if you got any questions about parts, service, any boats, you want to look at anything. And of course, anytime you got questions about what to fish, come see us here at Bucks Island and we'll be we'll do everything we can to help. Thanks for spending time with us this week and we will talk to you again next week.